So I'm gonna literally show you everything in this video. I'm gonna show you the product research, the data that I found when I was doing product research to find a product to launch on Amazon. I took a screenshot of that data, which is over a year ago at this point, um, but I took it then thinking maybe I would eventually make a video about it. Um, and there's specific reasons why this product, why I took a screenshot of this product and thought about maybe this product would be a good video in the future. And I guess I'll break down quickly what that is. Uh, Nope, I'm gonna explain that a little bit later in the video. Um, so I'm gonna show you the screenshot of the actual data, and then I'm gonna show you, I guess I could even, I may or may not, if, it's, if I think it's valuable, I'll show you the actual combo with the supplier, but I'm definitely gonna show you my first invoice, showing you how much the product costs per unit, which is 65 cents like you saw in the title, that's the cost per unit of the product. And then I'll show you my first uh, order, it's invoice, um, and then from there, now that everything's set up, product selling on Amazon, I'll jump into my numbers, my actual numbers, and I'll show you inside of my Helium 10 profits. So the reason that I first thought to screenshot the data on this product when I first came across it in early 2019 when I was doing product research to find a product, been selling this product for over a year now. The reason that I, I screenshot it is because I thought, man, this is, the main reason is because I knew this was going to cost me next to nothing to get started. Like it was going to be a very, very, very cheap product to launch. And I saw that it was good data and so that I saw that I would actually make some money. I didn't know how much, but I knew that I would make decent money with it. Uh, and that has absolutely turned out to be the case. And so I know a lot of videos are, and I have these on my channel where it's like one product made me a hundred thousand or multiple hundred thousand of dollars. And that's absolutely possible on Amazon for sure. Like it really is, have done it myself. Know people who have done it. You can absolutely do that. But I thought when I saw this product, I was like, wow, this is a really, really great example of like just anybody could have found this product. Anybody could launch this product. It costs next to nothing to get launched and then it will make you money. Here's a look at, so please like the video, please share the video so that other people can find it and watch it. Here's a look at the screenshot from my Helium 10 X-ray tool. So this is the first time we'll see Helium 10 and as we move through this video, uh, when I get to, when I actually get to showing you the numbers, the profits on this video, we'll jump into Helium 10 again, the Helium 10 profits tool. This is just a screenshot of the Helium 10 X-ray tool and I've got a full playlist on Helium 10 tutorials. I really think Helium 10 is the best tool out there right now. I'll leave it linked in the description of this video uh, with a code for 50% off. If you wanna use that, go ahead. But if you look right here, if you paid attention to my other Amazon videos, uh, the, the number one thing to go look for when you're doing product research, first find a product like the same, you know, make sure you're looking at a certain type of product, a, a, a niche down product. And then demand, go figure out, is there demand for this product? What I mean by that is, are there sales? Are there already a lot of people buying this product? Because if there are, that's proof. You know, I want people already there buying the product so that when I launch it, the people are already there ready to buy it. And so number of sales is what I pay attention to. So you'll see that I've sorted the sales column right here in the middle from uh, high to low so that I can just see like, okay, what's the max and then how's it working its way down. And so I saw the number one sellers getting over 5,000. We're seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Over seven sellers doing over 1,000 sales per month. And that's really good. That's definitely showing high demand. And then several sellers down here doing multiple hundreds, right? And people always ask me, you know, not all people don't always ask me, but I have had this question a, a good amount of times where it's like, why don't you look at the revenue? And especially when I know everybody else, basically everybody else that teaches product research is always like looking at the revenue. Well, I don't really pay attention to the revenue because revenue is just number of, sell, number of sales times the price point of the product. And so revenue isn't necessarily telling you demand because you could have one sale for $40,000 that equals 40,000 in revenue and one sell doesn't really mean that there's a lot of demand. And I'm looking for a lot of demand, repeat sales happening over and over and over again for months on months on months. And so for that, I go straight to the sales column. And then I wanna figure out, okay, perfect, there's demand there, good demand. Several sellers doing over a thousand sales, that's awesome. So then I look over to the review count column because I want to gauge the competition. Competition on Amazon is all about reviews. When a customer's shopping, whoever has the most best reviews, that's who they buy from. 
So if everybody in the market has thousands of reviews and I'm gonna launch a new product that has zero reviews or a couple reviews, no way I'm gonna get sales. All the shoppers are gonna choose the people with bigger, better reviews. So that's why you wanna look for product niches, products with a high demand and low review count. So I come over here into the review column and I see that all these top sellers, 68, that's kind of high-ish. I mean, so typically when I launch a product, I don't know, I'd love to, I love to be able to launch a product and with five, 10, 15 reviews, being able to see in the proof here that that will get me several hundreds of sales, if not more. Like I wanna see that that gets me off to a really good start, uh, kind of as a bare minimum. So 68, 29, that's, that's pretty low, especially to be in the second selling spot with 3,000 sales, that's low reviews for a lot of sales. 187, okay, that's a little bit higher. That's actually a sponsored ad. So I'm gonna actually, I wasn't gonna say I was gonna delete that, but the, I, this is a screenshot, I can't. So anyways, uh, can kind of slightly ignore that one because that's not an organically ranked product. Someone's paying for that uh, ad to be in that sponsored position. So next one, seven, five, 54, five, 20, 16, 22, all super low and all getting good sales. So that is, this is a really, I've done it a couple times in some of my other videos where I'm like, hey, this, if you want to know what good data looks like, high demand, low competition, what it actually looks like, this is it. And this is one of the, maybe the, this is the best one. This is the best one I've been able to provide so far. And that's why I launched this product. So really high sales, really low review count means high demand, means people are there when I buy it. Low review count means even though I'll, I'll, when I launch, I'm gonna have low reviews, I'll still be able to start getting some sales because the proof is in the pudding. Okay, the only issue that I saw then and that I would see now if this was my first time coming across this data is that the price point is a little bit low. You know, we looked 788, 899, 1099, 899, 890, 1095. Ideally, I would want really want to find a product like over 15 bucks that I can sell for over 15 bucks because that just means I'll be able to pull a bigger profit margin out of it, right? Because if I'm selling it for let's say $10 here and I've got to pay Amazon fees, I've got to buy the product and I've got to pay shipping fees, you know, that's gonna be however many bucks. And then I'm, if it's 10, there's no way I'm gonna pull 10 as a profit margin out of it. It's gonna be lower than 10, eight, seven, six, five, two, whatever, right? But if I'm over 15, then I could potentially pull $10 profit out of it if uh, all the costs and everything only add up to $5. So that's the thing I don't like here, but because the sales volume is relatively high and the review count is so low, I look, I look at this and go, okay, with fairly low reviews, I've got a sh good shot at over a thousand sales per month. And so at this point, I went to Alibaba, I typed in the product name, did a search, looked at kind of what was the average cost per unit that I could see there, and it was pretty cheap, it was under a buck. So I was like, okay, that, that works. And then from there on Alibaba, messaged suppliers, got a bunch of quotes from them as far as how much things would cost me, what shipping lead, lead times would be, et cetera. So here's the, a look at the first invoice from for this product. So this is it right here. I made the payment through Alibaba. I Sometimes I just do it through PayPal. In this case, the supplier wanted to do it through Alibaba and there's some built-in safety when you do it through Alibaba. So great, we'll do it that way. So the initial payment that I spent was $828. If you look at the unit price, it was 65 cents per unit. The quantity was 1,000 and the amount was 650. 65 cents times 1,000 is $650. Plus I had to pay for shipping, which was $178, which brings the first order total invoice amount to the first order invoice total. I think that's the right way to say it. It's a 200 to 828. And that's for 1,000 units. So I wasn't like, I'm just gonna send in a few units and see how it goes. Because the data looked good enough and because it's cheap enough, I was like, nah, I'll just make sure I've got plenty of units in there for if things start to pick up. So I mean, even eight, what was it, 820, eight, 828, $830 is still really cheap for, a, for being able to launch a product, like legitimately launch a product that's going to make you good money moving forward. Uh, but that could have been cut down to if I wanted to send just 300 units in then i'm really looking at maybe just a few hundred bucks or something so again this is part of the reason why i really wanted to screenshot this and was thinking about making a video on this eventually is because 
I mean, what an amazing example of being able to get a product off the ground, being able to start a private label Amazon business for really, really cheap. All right, so now here's a look at my numbers inside of my Helium 10 Profits tool. Again, this is the tool that tracks all my numbers. It works extremely well, it's super slick, very helpful. Uh, and I think it only comes with the Helium 10 Platinum plan, is that right? Yeah, so if you look right here, and I've got a video that goes more in depth as far as which plan's the best plan to get here. But if you look, there's a free trial, then Platinum, Diamond, and Elite. And if you scroll down and look for the Profits tool, which is right here, free trial, you can get it for 30 days, but you've gotta get at least the Platinum plan uh, in order to get access to the Profits tool. And I think it's absolutely definitely worth it. So here I've got the date range set from April 1st to August 8th, April 1st, 2019 to August 8th, 2020. I launched it, I don't remember the exact, the exact date, but I launched it at some point in April, I believe. So if we look at the uh, gross numbers here, you'll see that's $41,515.81. My costs uh, were $24,000.107. That includes my shipping, that includes my cost per unit for the product. And then also included in there is uh, my PPC advertising, what I spent on advertising. And then the net profit, the total profit, for that time period is $17,408. And then you'll see my average margin was 42 cents. So you'll see there's there's uh, four different SKUs here, all on the same listing. What I did is I took what the product is and I bundled it in, I mean, I've got like the uh, single version of it, but then I've got a two pack. I've got two single versions of it and then I've got a two pack and a four pack, but it's just the same product, just bundled differently. And so you'll see, um, that they've got their individual profit margins right there, but total it's about a 42% profit margin. Now, if you take the net profit margin, the $17,408, break that down over the time period per month, that breaks down to about $1,100 in profit per month. And like, that's not a huge amount, but I mean, on autopilot, $1,100 a month, I think that's pretty decent. And again, I wanted to make a video on this product just to, show like very realistic actual real numbers not that they're i mean if you watch some of my other videos you'll see products that are doing a lot bigger numbers than this in the same time period like six figures and up but this is just a very realistic one that i was able to get started with a very very low startup cost under a grand and could have easily been even less than that if i really wanted to but i wanted to have that thousand units of inventory in there right from the start and now with that said how much time did i have to put into it to get it started and then how much have I had to continue to put into it. So part of the reason why this listing hasn't done bigger numbers than it has is because once I launched it, I pretty much have not touched this thing again. I come in and look at it every once in a while, but it's, I literally have done, I have done, I haven't changed images other than the original images. I haven't changed any of the original copywriting nothing the only the only thing i did for a little bit of time was just manage my ppc campaigns but like legit it's been running for it's been running for over a year without me touching really anything inside of it so and then as far as how much time it took me to get up and running uh research suppliers building the listing eight hours, uh, the research was, how the research went down was someone said, someone recommended to me like, hey, you should look at this product. And I did, wasn't great, but I found a product, if you've watched my videos where I go, where I do my attack the listing stuff, attack the listing stuff, I did that. After someone sent me this product, I just poked around a little bit more and I found this one and it was, it was fairly quick. So the research didn't take long and then I reached out to suppliers and since it, I haven't re revealed the product, but it's a very simple product. There's not much to it and it's cheap. So I just moved quick. Uh, I found suppliers quick. I didn't have to spend too much time going through that process. Found the suppliers quick, paid them quick, got it shipped quick. It's super, super small and lightweight. So I didn't have to, definitely didn't have to deal with any boats. Just sent that through air, so that was quick. The longest part was probably the photography because I did the photography myself and uploaded the images myself. And it's one of the versions of the product is white. And so just a white product and trying to get a nice white background for Amazon Photos. That was probably the thing that took the longest. And then, yeah, the PPC campaign just threw the keywords in, came back a day or two later, turned off all the ones that weren't working, watched it for maybe, the next week or two a little bit and then after that the thing's just been running on its own so i'd say 
eight hundred dollars to get it started. Eight, so I'd say eight hundred dollars and eight hours to make a grand a month for well over a year, and this one's gonna continue to go. So I'm look. I should probably, and I probably will at this point. I've just been a little bit lazy about it, but go in and actually optimize the listing. Yeah.